Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video I want to discuss cholelithiasis, otherwise known as gallstones. Now, the normal function um, in the movement of cholesterol and bile is that cholesterol moves from the liver into the bile along with the secretion of phospholipids and bile salts at the same time. Now, in cases of cholelithiasis or gallstones, there's a disruption in the simultaneous movement of the cholesterol and the phospholipids and bile salts into the bile. Remember, the process must be simultaneous, so the cholesterol should move um, from the liver into the bile at the same time as the bile salts and phospholipids. So, in cases of gallstones, it's not happening at the same time. And what happens is, this results in more cholesterol entering the bile than what can be broken down by the bile salts and the phosphatidylcholine. So what happens is the cholesterol eventually will precipitate and this means it will harden into stones in the gallbladder because um, there's more cholesterol in the region than what can be broken down so eventually it will just harden. And the reason why this happens is, it could be one of three reasons, or even more. It could be because of malabsorption of the bile acids from the intestines. So there's some kind of problem between um, the uh, absorption of the bile acids from the intestines. And what this means is there's an overall decrease in the amount of bile acids which are being resorbed, which results in less bile acids or bile salts because they eventually form bile salts um, going into the uh, bile at the same time as cholesterol. Um, a second reason could be severe liver dysfunction so um, there's a problem with the liver which results in lower amounts of bile salts being formed obviously this means that there'll be less um, simultaneous movement of the bile salts with the cholesterol into the bile because there's a lower amount of bile salts and it could also be biliary tract obstruction so there's some kind of blockage it within the enterohepatic circulation the enterohepatic circulation is the um, the movement of bile from the intestines to the liver in fact I have a video on enterohepatic circulation I'll include a link in the description if you want to know about that in a bit more detail so what is a recommended diet for cholelithiasis well, the most important thing is you reduce uh, fats and cholesterol. So rather than eating these kind of foods, you switch to eating more whole grains, le lean poultry and fish as your protein sources because they are lower in fat, and fresh fruit and fresh vegetables, and overall lower your cholesterol intake. That's everything we're going to discuss today on cholelithio cholelithiasis, otherwise known as gallstones. And I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.